Hey guys, Icky back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I'm going to go over installing a hard drive, namely an SSD, precisely the Kingston HyperX 240GB 3K SSD. Some good stuff here. Installing an SSD or a hard drive is one of the easiest things to do in a PC, but because of the way I I cable, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm going to be installing it onto the Corsair 780T. So let's go ahead and start now. First off, take off the side panel. And it will reveal my huge mess of a cabling job. But that's only right here on the inside. It's beautiful. And we'll go over that in a minute. So you're probably wondering where would I put this SSD because of this case I have the option and I can put it right here or I can let me take off the other side or because of this case I can put it in one of these hard drive trays. It fits 3.5 hard drives, obviously, but you can screw in 2.5 inch SSDs right here and right here. And let me show you the SSD. I've already done an unboxing for it, so I'm not giving anything away. So you'll match up this screw, this screw, this screw and this screw and that would go in perfectly right there of course on the other side I'm not going to take out the hard drive just yet so let me go ahead and put this guy back so now before I go ahead and move all this stuff which I'm gonna have to move this little clip over here there is one obstacle again because of the way I cable. All right, so all right, so I have these three hard drives, these two hard drives, and two opticals up here, mainly all attached to the brown side of cables. Those are the Intel ICH. Uh, excuse me. ICH Z87 chipset um, controllers. I do have the AS Media controller, but the name kind of says it all. I don't want to plug my media into an AS port. So, <laughs> mind you, the AS Media is a decent controller, but I will not put a SATA 3 SSD on there. There is a much greater performance increase on the Z87 chipset in regards to just about everything including SSDs so now I'm going to have to trace maybe one of these cables or one of these cables back to this puppy down here so that I can if you guys can see it here yeah this is the S Media controller and this is the Intel Z87 controller so I want to plug it in here but I'm all out of ports so I'm gonna have to move one of these guys down here and actually looking at it yeah I'm all out of ports so let's find out which one goes to the optical because the AS Media only has one plugged into there and I'm sure it's one of these opticals so cables run back here up here and let's trace them Hopefully I can. So come out of here, come down here, and all right, so perfect. So it comes down here. And it twists and turns to this port back here. Let me zoom in for you. Alright, 
So if you notice, this little cable that twists back here and goes right to this port or behind it, that is for the optical drive. Because the cable is long enough, thankfully, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in on the bottom cable. So let me zoom out. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead, disconnect the first one. And disconnect this guy and plug it in to the AS Media controller. I'm going to plug it in the back because it is a black cable. <laughs> that sounded kind of bad. Not that the black cable needs to be in the back or anything, <laughs> but it, as you can see here, I have all the white ones showing right up here, and I just want to make it look uniform. So I plug the black one down there, and now I'm going to plug that guy in there, and that guy in there. You can, and I'll zoom in again, see you, can, you can't tell the difference there, so that's good. Zoom out again. I have another black cable. I ran out of those white cables, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the white one right in the front. So for now, I'm just going to plug it out of the way, or unplug it, and move it out of the way. And following these cables, I'm going to go ahead and fish this guy through. Plug this one in the back and then plug this guy right in the front. So you can see it a little bit, but not too much. So, kind of sort of done there for now. Now let's go ahead on the other side. All right, so this little clip is in the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Just to about right here is fine. All right, so that's out of the way. Push all these other SATA cables in, and this this uh, this is what's going to be plugged right in here, just like these guys have. And Corsair does a great job of it. So all you do is. Grab your SSD and slide it into the tray, clicks in place, and there you've just plugged in your SSD. So now let's get it into here. So let me zoom in for you so you can see what I do. It's going to go right into here. that guy all right and the SSD is plugged in again at least right here aside from this guy I got to recable all these power cables so that I could use this one as well I knew it would kind of come in handy sometime soon so Disconnect this one, disconnect that one. So now I have three cables for my SSDs. So you can see right here, or three connections, should I say. So now I'll go ahead and plug that guy in. Actually, it looks like I gotta go from the top, so I'll plug this one in here. Alright, so it looks like that one's not gonna fit. Let's see, do I have any more SATA power cables? 
We've got two up here, three down here, it's five, six, seven, and okay, so I should have an extra. Oh, but that's plugged into the SATA power for the external hard drives. So three up here, three down there, and three here. So it looks like I might be maxed out. I'm going to have to grab another SATA rail. All right, so it turns out I don't have another one of these guys, so I'm going to have to improvise. And it is a damn good thing that I am a pack rat. So let me go ahead and connect. Well, I can't connect that one right now. Let me go ahead and connect this. And connect this. Actually, I'll leave it the way I had it. I'll connect this one over here. All right. And I can put this back in its little clamp. All right. So now you're wondering, how is a pack rat good at this? So, this is not the pack rat part, this is just keeping things together, but I have a Molex cable. For those of you that don't know what a Molex cable is, it's that guy. That plugs into older hard drives and older optical drives and a lot of uh, case fans and bunch of different stuff back in the day. More and more today it has become less and less used. But it is good for this. See? I can plug this into a Molex and it gives me two SATA connections. SATA power. So let's go ahead and flip this guy back around. And because this is a modular power supply, cable isn't connected unless it's needed. So I'm, I need it. So I will go ahead and plug it in. Then fish it down behind here. All right out of sight, out of mind, it's back there, you don't know it's there. So, turn it back around, and we have these now on the other side. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, alright, it's plugged in. So, now I just plug one of these guys in. Alright. And now plug in the other side of cable. Alright, and it's done. Right here. Da uh, side of data, side of power. And so that I don't have to put more clips because I don't know where they all are right now. I'll just push it behind these cables. One thing you want to make sure of, these little pins right here, there's power coming through them. So I'm going to tuck them behind here, but I'm also going to make sure that it's not touching anything metal. So pretty much we're done here. So let me go ahead and put the side panel back on. And it looks sloppy right now, but trust me, it's okay. Turn it around. And there we go. These two hard drives, the SSDs, I'm sorry, that were there before. One hidden 
back there behind all these hard drives. Saddle cables are all plugged in, all look nice. So we're good. We have just installed an SSD. Now, there are a few things that go with installing an SSD. You could use it, all right? So you can use an SSD as a data drive. That it's only 240, meg 240 gigs. It's not gonna hold a lot of data. You can use it for games. You know, it holds a decent amount of games. Or you can use it for your OS, which is what I'm gonna end up doing. So I have one of my my 120 gig SSD is my OS drive right now. I'm gonna go ahead and you know download all the drivers, all that good stuff, so that I can reinstall Windows. I'll walk you through that too. And since right now it is an empty drive, I'm gonna go ahead and test it as an empty drive. Once I get all the OS and all that good stuff in there though, I'm gonna go ahead and test it with the data in there as well. Then I'm also gonna test the other two SSDs with the data in there as well. So that you guys can see the the difference in speed from an empty drive to a full drive, or not a full drive, but a drive with some data on it versus another drive or two other drives with data on it. There's obviously going to be a bit of a speed difference, but probably not a ton. And, well, that's about it. So that's it for now. And uh, you'll hear more from me soon.